is your family on board with all this? Mom, dad, everyone's all for it? Yeah. Well, probably because, you know, they're freaking Patty's freaking mom and dad, so they walk around Liverpool. Yeah, my mum's here. Um, free eggs and shit. My mum's only ever been to one fight and I lost. So she'll <laughs> never come again. She went to the one you lost? I thought you've lost a bunch of fights. Came one time. I've only lost three out of 30 fights and he won't come to one where I lost. And she was heartbroken. She'll never come again. My mom, came, my mom came to one. It was my first pro fight. And I you know, beat this kid up in like 34 seconds. And I see her in the back and she goes, how many more you got tonight? I go, what? She goes, how many more you got tonight? I went, that's it, mom. This is good. I didn't get touched. She goes, oh, no, no, I'll never come again. It's so much of a hassle. <laughs> never came again. Never came again. <laughs> yeah. My dad comes every fight with his... With his twin, me uncle, and most of the time they don't watch. They're just like... Too nervous. Too nervous. Yeah, I can't imagine. the other week, they actually watched in the O2, and they were both just like... Oh, did, did they realise, like, when you walked out, when that crowd went freaking nuts, so when you hit the yeah, walkway, the, um, they, they, they realised how They realised how big it actually was, yeah. They didn't know before no, that? No, they didn't realise how big it was before that. Didn't realise, like, just the magnitude of everything. And then since that, they do. It's, it's just, it, it, is it weird to you how big you are? Is it, is it a little strange to you? No. no. It's just normally. Yeah, you don't seem... I always saw it coming. Really? If I go back and get podcasts or interviews or anything when I'm 15, 16, 17 years old, when I'm just like an amateur or when I'm just turned pro, and I say all the same things. Yeah. I'm going to be the biggest star in the sport. And it's happening. Yeah, it's, it's coming it's to fruition. Yeah. And I've been saying it for over 10 years. It's pretty cool, man. Yeah, it's pretty freaking cool. So, going to your next fight, any idea when you want to fight? Like, what's the plan? I, again, you, you mentioned it earlier, like, obviously you make all this money outside the octagon, so there's no pressure, but you know, you still gotta, they kind of go hand in hand. You want to yeah, fight to keep yeah, things Yeah, you want to fight to keep things going, but as, I said, as I've just said, I just genuinely like fighting. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know what it is. Like, if, if, if no one else got paid, and everyone was doing it for free, I yeah. fight for free. Yeah, but everyone else is everyone else is getting paid, and so be compensated. Some of them are getting paid their worth. Yeah, I'm not getting paid my worth, so there's no point in rushing back into the cage when I can eat burgers like this and sit and chill. Shout <laughs> with people like me. Yeah, yeah. I'm have a good bro. time, lad. Without yeah, man. Worrying about how many calories I've got to eat today and how many training sessions I've got to get in. Yeah, for only being 27 having two fights in the UFC, I think you have the best attitude towards this profession I've seen. You don't seem stressed out. A lot of guys are, you know, it's tense, man. It's, a, it, if you can't, it's an intense job, man. You're fighting grown men in your underwear in a steel cage. It's a fucking intense job when you think about it. You it seem, is right. But I, I think you're born to do this, man. That's what I say. I've always said I was born to do this. I genuinely think if reincarnation is a thing, then thousands of years ago I was in a coliseum. Yeah. Fighting in front of people to entertain them. Gonna kill some shit. Yeah. Killing fucking lions and tigers and bears. Yeah, your dick's hanging out the Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, that's genuinely what I think. I know I was put on this earth to do this. I was put on this earth to fight, entertain people, and make lots of money while I do it. Yeah, I'm proud of you, man. You're crushing it. Yeah, I, I think, would you, would you want to fight again this year? Like, you've had one, it's early, right? And you yeah, want to fight. I'd love to have another two this year, but as I say, I'm, I'm not rushing back into the cage and... The way I said before, people say oh, I should take short notice fights. No, no, no I no. shouldn't. Uh -uh. I don't have to take short notice fights. I'll, I'll take a fight with ten weeks of prep, and I'll be the best me I've ever been every time I do it. Short, short sided fights have, in the grand scheme of the UFC. If you look back, they've never really it never anyone. works out. No. For, no, it never works out. You're rushing yourself. You're not prepared. The other guy's been in camp for twelve weeks. He's in shape. It never works out, man. It's so short sighted. So, but again, you got a good team around you. It's not like, you know. I'd, I'd love to get another two in this year, but. At 55. Yeah. We take a short notice fight. We're fighting fucking Izzy. Yeah. Let me take a short notice fight. We take a short notice fight at that. We 170 or 165 or something, but. Shit, they wait another three months. You're fighting Francis and Gallo, yeah, my I'm man. Not a, I'm, not, I'm not big enough to fight at 170. Yes, yeah, so the 70s are big. Yeah, the no, big. Yeah. Well, like when I, was in, when I was in New York for the. Usman Covington card. Oh, Colby? Yeah, yeah. I, I bumped into Derek Brunson, Anthony Smith, and uh, Uriah Hall, and every one of them said to me, oh, did you fight at 170? I was like, no, nah, I'm a 55 eh? Every yeah. one of them was like, what? Yeah, <laughs> man. Because yeah, then I was standing next to them, I'm like the same height as some of them, like the same height as Brunson, I think. 
Eli you know, Hall was a bit taller, so it was yeah. um, Anthony Smith, but it's he didn't different. seem yeah. too much bigger than me, but I know for a fact he would be if I got on a cage with him. 100%, <laughs> yeah. And is the cut hard for you? I mean, obviously you're not going to do this every time. We, that, I think it's fun. It's fun marketing. It shows your personality. Like you're having fun with it. This Carefree. is just me being me, love. Like, but you're going to do it every, me. but not every fight, I'm going right? to try and not do it every fight. I'm going to try. But the past no guarantees, few, though, huh? There's no guarantees. The past few fights I have done this, and I can't help it. I, I think I think I've got a uh, say this before. I've got a problem with food, lad. Like, I reckon I've got an eating disorder. This makes you love you even more. Me too, man.